Today we're talking about trademarks. What's a trademark? A trademark is your name, most importantly, your brand name. So <clears throat> when you start a business, you have a business name, maybe an LLC or a corporation name, and sometimes that'll be the same name as your brand, not always, and in fact, your business name isn't actually evidence that supports ownership of a trademark. More on that in another video, but your trademark is your brand name. And the reason that trademarks typically are names, they can be product names and slogans too, but the whole purpose of the trademark is to identify the source of goods or services. And that is because I'm identifying the source of these. When you see that logo, you know who it is, you know what it is that it is, and you know where it's coming from. And the same can go for Nike and Google and things like that. It identifies the source, that's their trademark. Now, it's not to be confused with copyright. Copyright is things like scripts and movies, and you can hear more about that in my copyright video. But trademark is a source identifier, a brand name. It can be words, there are word mark trademarks, and then there are logo mark trademarks. Sometimes logo marks have words in them, of course, but it's more of the graphical makeup of the mark, the graphical elements that's that logo mark, like a Nike swoosh or a Lacoste alligator. But then the word mark for both of those would be Nike and Lacoste. And so all of that are types of trademarks that you can protect. And trademarks are protected under 45 different trademark classes. Each trademark class groups together products and services, and you need to be the only name in that class for those products and services. That's how trademark works. You have to be distinct because trademark, the entire framework, is out there to prevent consumer confusion. That means if there was no such thing as trademark law and, and these 45 different trademark classes, and there was a Nike and a Nike, and they both sold shoes, but one was super poor quality and one was the Nike that we know and you were confused because there's no way to prevent someone from having your same name and selling your same products, then you would end up maybe possibly buying the crappy ones because there's no way to prevent that consumer confusion. So that's why trademark exists. And it's also important to remember anytime you're deciding on a trademark for your business and if there's already one out there for the same types of products or services, you can't use that name because trademark law wants to prevent the same names that will cons confuse consumers. So, trademarks, 45 different products or service classes, you need to be distinct in that class. Also, trademark is gonna be your brand name, be logo or words. And another thing to mention, you know, you have to be distinct like I talked about, but also, if a trademark is descriptive, they're most likely not gonna let you register that, they being the United States Patent and Trademark Office, who is the keys to the castle when you wanna register and protect your trademark in all 50 states. So if it's too descriptive, it's not gonna work. For instance, Five Minute Lawyer may or may not be a trademark that is too descriptive, and descriptive is a little bit of an ambiguous one, so it's always kinda of difficult to say yes it is or isn't because you can get super meta with it. But those are the details of trademark, for any more in-depth explanation of several of the concepts that I've covered in this video, this is just the high level, what's a trademark, but more detail on those classes, descriptiveness, whether there's a similarity problem with your mark, check out my other videos. Hope this was helpful. Appreciate you watching.